Slack is a platform for team communication. It's like an instant messaging and chat app for your teams. With Slack, you can keep all of your communications in one place, instantly searchable and available wherever you go. With this ACT connection to Slack, you can automatically notify your team of new ACT contacts as they're created. Once you set up this integration, new ACT contacts created from that point forward are individually posted to the Slack channel and shared with your team. Now this Slack connection requires an active Slack account. I've already created a free one ahead of time so that I can demonstrate this functionality in this video. But here's how to set it all up. From the ACT Connect page, we need to search for and select the Slack connection to highlight it. And then in the box on the left, we'll click the Get Started button. This page gives us a summary of what Slack is all about. And once you're ready to continue, click the Use This Zap button. Once here, Zapier acts as the connector between ACT and Slack. So Zapier wants to know which ACT Premium account we're going to use. Because I have already logged on to my ACT Premium account, that's the one that comes up here. So I'm going to click Use This One. And now Zapier wants to know which Slack account I should connect to. I'm already logged into my Slack account as well, so let's click Connect. Now we just need to give Zapier the authority to do what it needs to do. Zapier wants to access ACT Premium. So I'm going to click the Authorize button to let it do what it needs to do. Now Zapier is connecting to Slack as well. Okay, we're connected. Now I just need to select the chat channel in Slack to handle all of my ACT contact notifications. I'll click this drop-down box and I will choose the general channel. In the message text field, I can specify the text of the message that's going to send to my team. So what I want to say is new contact comma and then I'm going to use my ACT fields to select the name, first name, space, last name has been created in ACT. And once that's finished, I'll click the Save and Finish button. Zapier now turns on this connection and does a couple tests. And if it was successful, we see a celebratory message at the top. And now we can click the Test Out My New Zap button. To test to see if this is working, we need to go to ACT and ensure that there is at least one contact. Let's just go into ACT and create a new contact just to test it to make sure it's working correctly. So I'll go to ACT, Contacts, and I'll click the New button. I'll create a new contact record. Once I have all my contact information completed, let's click the Save button. That saves that new contact in ACT, and then it sends a notification through Zapier to Slack. The way we can test that now is to click the Continue and Fetch the Contact button. According to Zapier, the connection has been made, and now it wants to send this message to Slack. So let's click Continue and Send to Slack. Immediately I get a message here saying that there was a problem sending this message to Slack. Apparently I've been trying to send this message as a non-bot. So what I need to do is go back and change this to uh, make it send as a bot instead of as my own login. I'm going to click this Slack button at the top and click the Use This Slack Account. And now what I want to do is I'm going to click the Show Advanced Options link. And in this box that asks me if I want to send it as a bot, I'm going to say yes. And the bot name, I'll just leave it as bot. I'll scroll down to the bottom and click Save and Finish. Once more, it's turning my zap on, and now let's test it again. We'll click Continue and Fetch the Contact. We can see the sample message if we want to see what it'll look like. Here's the new contact that I created, and that's the message we're going to see in Slack. So let's click Continue and Send to Slack. There we go. We have a success message saying that our zap is working. If I go to my Slack channel, I'll see that now the bot has said, new contact, David Lancaster, has been created in ACT. So now from this point forward, anytime I create a new contact in ACT, 
it's going to notify my team in Slack that a new contact has been created. This is just another example of the versatility that can be used with ACT Connect. <laughs>